Hey, you guys, this is Christina with Leads and Leverage, and I am here on another episode of The Ribbit Show. And guess what? If you're watching this in replay, please let me know that you're here. Just comment below. Let me know that you're watching in replay and where you're watching from. That'd be awesome. So I like to, I, I like to know where you guys are all coming from and where you're watching in from and stuff. And how are you guys? Don't forget if you're watching this live to introduce yourself. Let me know that you're here. Um, I really love doing these. I haven't done them all of December. Hi, Cheris. Um, and I really, really like connecting with you guys and talking with you guys and, and, uh, you know, et cetera. So, um, I wanted to talk today about the one thing, the one thing it is literally, there is one magic pill to being successful in real estate. And yeah, it is a magic pill and it works every single time. And I want to talk about that. Hi, you guys. <laughs> How is it that leads and leverage is telling me hi? That's interesting. Hold on. Hey, Chuck, are you on? Yeah. You commented as our page. Isn't that interesting? What? I didn't so somebody commented. Maybe that was Cheris that commented because she has admin, admin on our page. That's very interesting. So hi, you guys. Um, <laughs> I just wanted to see what was going on with that. So I want to talk about this, but I want to give it a minute or two for people to come on. I know the notifications are happening. I'm gonna pop on Facebook and make sure that this is going out to everyone that it needs to go out to. And let me see here. Yeah, I see it. See people on there. Hey, you guys. And I'm just in, you know, my sweatshirt today and I see you guys on there. Say hi. Let me know you guys are here. I want to talk about, guess what, guys? There, there kind of is a, a, a magic bullet. There's a magic pill um, that will make or break your real estate success. Seriously. Um, and it's not just real estate. It'll make or break any success. And I want to talk about that today. So here's here it is. About oh two or three weeks ago, um, somebody asked me, they're just like, I just, I just want to know the fastest way to become successful in real estate. I want to know what do I need to do every single day? And I was like, well, you know, it really comes down to being consistent. So I know that that sounds flippant or kind of, oh yeah, consistent, whatever. But I'm going to tell you what to be consistent in. And by consistent, I mean every single day. And this is, this is a magic pill. It's really um, it's easy to say. It's not so easy to do. So, hey, Michael, how are you guys? How are you, Cheris? Um, so here's the thing. You need to be consistently implementing every single day. You need to be consistently focusing on your lead domino and whacking away at it until it falls. If you don't know what I'm talking about, I strongly suggest, let me get this. I strongly suggest you get your hands on, look at this, I've got stuff everywhere, on the book, The One Thing. And this book has been kind of my driving um, book. It's probably showing up backwards for you, but it's The One Thing by Gary Keller. And this book has been kind of my driving um, force for the last couple of years. And it's been, it was wonderful. And I've read, I reread it every single year. So um, you need to be, that's two things. You need to be consistently taking action towards valuable goals. Um, your goals need to be very clear. And I don't mean smart goals, but I mean, if one of your goals is to do, um, you know, you want to double your business, you need to write down what that means. Does that mean you, you had 50 transactions last year and you're going to close 100 tra transactions? You need to be very, very clear in your goals, valuable goals. You need to be consistently doing what should be done, not what needs to be done. This one's not an easy one, you guys. Um, this one is, you know, we, we get hit with, oh, but I have to prepare for this closing today. So we compromise our lead generation time, or I've got to go out and see this house for preview this house for a buyer client. And so we compromise on our lead generation time or our lead conversion time. And so we need to consist consistently be doing what should be done not consistently doing what needs to be done. And I know that doesn't sound right. And I know that sounds kind of 
wonky, but if we're not doing what we need, what should be done, we're not going to have stuff to do. <laughs> it's just, we're going to have an inconsistent business. Hey, Donna. Um, we need to be consistently, I'm, I'm basically saying, um, I'm basically talking about uh, several more people have joined. We're talking about the, the magic pill. The one thing that will make your business, your real estate business successful. And that is consistency. So I've gone through several things. I talked about consistently implementing every single day, consistently focusing on your lead domino and whacking away at it until it disappears or until it falls, consistently taking action towards valuable goals, <clears throat> consistently doing what should be done, not what needs to be done. Consistently, this one's never fun guys, consistently focusing on the unsexy, but the important, and ignoring the sexy, but unimportant. And let me tell you, I think this one, I think this is the biggest downfall of 80% of real estate agents, which is why 80% of real estate agents are out of the business in less than two years. Because we don't keep focus on all the boring, nitty gritty things that we need to be doing every single day, the lead generation daily tasks that we need to be doing. We're constantly out there looking for, oh, what's a new way to lead generate? Or what's, um, what's, what's going to be the magic bullet that's going to help me generate more leads than ever? And realizing that, or not realizing that it doesn't matter which way or which ways you choose to lead generate. What matters is that every single day you do them over and over again, over and over again every single day. So um, if you are one of those people who just loves phone calls or you know, you're know you just willing to do them, cold call, cold call, cold call, guess what? You gotta do them every single day. You can't just do them every once in a while. If you're one of those people that wants to get leads from Facebook, guess, guess what? You gotta be consistently implementing and running ads and creating lead magnets and doing your emails every single day if you wanna do it. Everything takes daily work all the time. Everything does. Now, of course, I'm not talking leverage or anything like that. I'm just talking about consistency. You need to be, or we, this is for me too, consistently following through to the end. And look at my list. To completion. A lot of times we get excited about something and we go, oh, cool. And we just implement a piece of it. Or we just grab a piece of it. And we don't actually finish it. We don't actually finish implementing all of it. We just do the quick stuff. And, and the it's kind of like, a new relationship. I mean, this is one of the reasons why so many relationships end up because it's fun. It's, it's, it's exciting. Um, you feel just alive when you first do something, when you first get in a relationship, but then it becomes, it can become drudgery, but you, you've got to actually be consistent and keep doing it. And this is why we bounce around from different shiny object to different shiny objects, because it's not sexy enough. It's not, we're not following through with anything. We do it to a point, say we're done and move on. But oftentimes follow through means implementing and then going back and checking the gaps, seeing what gaps need to be filled and then going back a third time and doing it and making sure that those are in. But that's not sexy and that's not fun, but that's part of follow through and completion. We actually need to consistently be living counterculture to the perceived norm. So what I mean by that is that the perceived norm, let's see, um, in real estate, the perceived norm is that we need to be in the office every single day. That's what we need to be doing. We need to be in the office every single day working. Okay, counterculture to that would be well, figure out what works best for you. That's first thing. Do you actually get work done when you're in the office? Every single real estate agent that I have ever talked to, I don't care if they've done 500 transactions a year or five. Every single one talks about how distracting the office is. They go in, they get distracted, they get interrupted. They don't get stuff done. So counterculture to the perceived norm would be maybe you shouldn't be in the office. Maybe that's not the best way to actually consistently implement every single day. But you got to find out what that is for you and then you got to do it. And then you need to consistently be determining what you need to learn next and then learning it. Because 
all your business, your real estate business. Now this is a business is a constant, constant learning thing. You're always learning. Every transaction is a lesson. Every client, every showing, every lead generation is a lesson and you need to be learning and you need to be uh, focusing on things so that in a way that are focusing on them in a way that's okay. What can I learn from this? What can I take from this and how can I implement it? How can I make it work? Not from the perspective of that won't work. And so then you set yourself up to make sure it doesn't work. So just a constantly learning uh, to improve your skills, to improve your abilities, to make things happen. So why is it hard to consistently implement? Okay. I actually have a list. I wrote a long list. Some of these are going to be really harsh, but this is a long list of stuff that it, at some point have been me. So one, I don't consistently implement because I get lazy and I'm comfortable. I want it to be easy. <coughs> Excuse me. And it looks like it should be. I'm dealing with my own insecurities and limiting beliefs. Um, I am permeated by the culture of casting blame and excuses rather than looking inward and accepting self-responsibility. I like the sexy um, and the nitty gritty of success just isn't sexy. I compare my hot mess to someone else's greatest hits. I don't like to read and we aren't willing to change our mindset on this. Now that's not a me one, that's other people that I know, but there's a lot of people that just don't like to read and they're not willing to change their mindset on that. I don't read, I don't have time to read, I don't do this. Mm. Do you want a successful business? Then you're gonna have to make time. Some of us insist that we aren't techie, that's not me. Some of us insist that we are not techie and we use this excuse to stay in our current situation. I'm, guys, I'm talking about um, why we don't consistently implement. I'm talking about all the things and somewhere is you somewhere in all of this. And probably a few of these is you. I know several of these are me. Several of these are not me. Um, but I do know agents that they, they relate to. So somewhere in all of this, you are part of this. So we've actually convinced ourselves that relaxing is being mindless, that watching TV is a way to relax. Um, we refuse to believe every single piece of scientific research that says that we actually need eight hours of sleep. We say we are the exception when there are zero exceptions. And I'm talking thousands of scientific research studies. Yeah. We refuse to entertain the notion that what we watch on TV has a direct correlation to on what we do and who we are. You know, things that we watch. And I'm not talking like, ooh, we watch violence and we're violent. That's a separate discussion. What I'm talking about is if we're constantly watching shows that kind of show layabouts and sluggards, that mindset permeates us. Um, and we start to live out that mindset. You know, the phrase that we are the sum total or the culmination of the five people that we surround ourselves with. Well, I think a lot of us forget that that TV is a couple of people. So just be aware of that with what you're watching. So we aren't willing to do the boring, the dull, the droll things that we need to do each and every day so that we can reach the level of success and live the dream life that we want. This is, this is why we don't consistently implement. We keep watching and reading the news and allow the negativity to permeate our brains and drive our mental and physical energy. This statement, that one, we keep watching and reading the news and allowing the neg negativity to permeate our brains and drive our mental phys physical energy. That statement, was so incredibly true during the election. Oh my land sakes. I could not believe the people who got caught up in all of that, who got caught up in the negativity, who got caught up. I, I mean, people that I would never have, su have, have su suspected. Allowing the media to dictate their thoughts, allowing the media to drive what they say and do. That permeates your business mindset. That permeates your life mindset. It's not just a casual conversation on Facebook. It permeates you. If you want to be successful, you have to step out of that. Um, one of the reasons and one of the things that I have done on my Facebook, this is going to sound funny from someone who teaches Facebook, but I am connected with a lot of people. However, I have my newsfeed turned off. 
I have my newsfeed turned off. So I don't see anything that anybody posts individually. So I'm not suddenly taken aback by a terrible abuse video or a terrible photo or negative news. I, I don't want to be shocked by any of that because I don't want to change my mindset. I mean, I don't want a negative mindset. I don't want a scarcity mindset. I don't want a uh, fearful mindsets. I want a different kind of mindset. And so I actually turned my newsfeed off. And if you're wondering how to do that, on your computer, on your laptop, on your desktop, there is this awesome, if you use Chrome, there's this awesome plugin called Newsfeed Eradicator. It's fabulous. It is fabulous. I did not realize how often I, just from wasting time, how often I would gloss over or glance over and go into my newsfeed just to, I don't know, kill time. Oh my goodness, I got so much time back and I'm not hit with the neg negativity. I'm not hit with all of the, the crap that's going on. I love this. I love that. It was, it's awesome. So here's another reason that we don't consistently implement. We don't like time blocking because we believe we are being controlled. <laughs> we want more freedom. I was that. That was me. <laughs> that was also a girlfriend of mine. Um, we, what, what we don't realize, what we fail to realize when we're in that mindset is that by time blocking, we're controlling our time. Our time is not controlling us. The calendar is not controlling us. We're controlling it. We don't consistently implement because we refuse to create and adhere to budgets because we insist people who do that aren't actually living their lives. We also have this idea that budget means cheap or budget means frugal or budget means don't have money. It's that's wrong. That's not true, but we believe that. Um, we don't consistently implement because we haven't surrounded ourselves with people who have the kind of life and business that we desire. We tend to hang out where we're comfortable. We tend to hang out where um, people are like us. And so I wanna challenge you to find people who are where you wanna be, whatever that is. If that's in real estate transactions, find people who are in that and, and hang out with them a little bit more. Go to coffee, take them to coffee. Um, be, try try and become friends with people like that. Uh, if there's people who live a lifestyle that you like, and I'm not talking like driving Bentleys or um, living on a lake or whatever, that's not really what I'm talking about. What I'm talking about more is their mindset and their attitude. So hang out with other business owners, successful business owners who don't sit around lamenting all the negativity. They're constantly, rather than constantly complaining, they're constantly strategizing. Find people like that to, to surround yourselves with people who are where you want to be. Um, we don't consistently implement because we allow ourselves to be influenced by others who have no dreams or goals or aspirations, except to party every weekend. I'm not kidding. I am 46 years old. I'm 46 years old. That's crazy. But I am 46 years old. And I cannot tell you how many people that I know that are the same age or even a little older than me that that's all they do. They just live for their weekends and on their weekends, they get drunk. They go fishing and get drunk. They go camping and get drunk. They go snowmobiling and get drunk. They go out to the clubs and get drunk. That, that's what they do. That, that's their idea of fun. That, you know, when you're not, um, that I, I don't know, I just, I'm not interested in getting drunk. I'm interested in, in enjoying life a little bit more. And that's not enjoying life to me. So find people who have dreams and aspirations or goals. What I have really found in the last year or so, hi Martha, what I have found in the last year or so, about two years, is that um, the people who are where I wanna be, that's not what they do. They don't spend, they spend hardly any time watching TV. They spend hardly any time at the club, at the clubs, the bars, clubs, not the, workout clubs. Um, they spend a lot of time reading. They spend a lot of time learning. They spend a lot of time strategizing and masterminding uh, with people. They do a lot of self-care um, and take care of themselves. That's who I want to be. So if you know where you want to be, you got to find people who are there um, doing that and look at what their lives are like. What are they doing every single day? What are they changing? What are they doing that's different than what you're doing? Change you. And I'm not talking about they go out to lunch every day. What are they doing? Who are they going to lunch with? If you can't afford lunch with people, go to coffee. If you can't have that, have people over. I mean, it, you can get there. So um, 
Here's another reason that we don't consistently implement and we don't have successful businesses. We go to conferences and trainings and we treat them as get drunk, as a get drunk party rather than a grow in life and business party. Oh my goodness. I was in shock. Every time I've gone to any real estate function, I have been in shock at the number of people. I mean, that all they're there for is to party and they, they do get drunk. They drink multiple, whatever they drink, lots of wine, lots of alcohol. And I, guys, I drink. I'm this, I'm not a uh, prohibitionist or I'm not like that. I do drink. Um, but that's all they do. That's their idea of fun. And Hey, I'm fun. I'm going to have fun at this. And when I started going to conferences and trainings with a different mindset of people that more, more success oriented, they're completely different. They don't drink at all during these conferences because alcohol affects you. It affects your, uh, your cognitive ability. Even the next day, um, they make sure to get enough sleep. That's what was huge to me when I noticed that the biggest producers, the, the, the most successful people, they made sure they weren't out late. They got the sleep they needed to get. They ate healthy. They didn't drink alcohol. It changed. So that's why we don't consistently implement because we're still kind of in our comfort zone and in our play zone. We know it's cons consistently implement because we don't take action every single day. We don't plan our days, our weeks, our months, our years. We just kind of go by the seat of our pants. We don't organize ourselves for success. Um, we search Google for random studies that insist that a messy desk is the sign of a whatever brain. I cannot tell you how many, um, things I have seen in, on Facebook or the people passed around. See, I, I'm smart because I have a messy desk or I have a messy desk because I'm smart or I, uh, you know, six hours of sleep, blah, 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 or whatever. Guys, these are all excuses that were justified for. Um, justify. I, I have, this has been, the last year has just been an amazing revolutionary aha for me. Things that I didn't think was right. I've, I've found out the truth, the, the reality that no, they're not. And here's why. So a messy desk is not the sign of a creative or intelligent mind. It's just the sign of someone who's not willing to clean their desk. That's really what it is. Um, we look for crap that supports us staying in our current place, in our current state of mind. Seriously, this is what we do. I do this um, in my comfort zone. I have to push myself to be outside my comfort zone every single day. And about half the time I don't succeed because I want to be in my comfort zone. Um, I like things the way they are. I, I like my life, um, but I also want a different life. So I got to do that. So, and we just don't like being uncomfortable. So Really what this all boils down to is we're just not consistently working towards something else. We're not. Um, and as I always say, consistency trumps creativity every single time. You need to be consistent in everything. For those of you who set New Year's resolutions, um, what are you doing consistently every single day? to make that happen. What are you doing? How are you tracking it? Um, every single day. So, you know, um, one of the things that I really wanted to do this year was really make sure that my meditation was consistent. I want to meditate every single morning consistently. Mm, I, 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 let's see how many days are we in? We are 10 days into January and how many days have I meditated? Three, because I'm not consistently implementing. So I need to make that my priority. And that needs to be the first thing I do, no matter what, every single day. I know this. I also know that that's kind of a domino for me. When I meditate, my productivity is through the roof. It's insane. So that's an example of consistent implementation and whacking away at kind of my lead domino on this. I'm curious to know what, where you fit in all this. Like what, what were some of the things that were like, yeah, I can relate to that. TV's never really been a big thing for me um, because I just don't watch a lot of it. Um, and especially, we haven't, we haven't had live TV in over a decade. And we, we have Netflix and Amazon Prime. Um, and now, you know, I, I, I'm hesitant to get involved in any um, uh, TV series on Netflix because I don't want to use my time up binge watching TV. I just don't like doing that. Uh, however, I did kind of get caught up in The Crown. Um, the Crown... <laughs> 
fabulous and I'm very excited for season two and a season three is coming so I'm very excited for that one I thought that was great um, I loved the history in it anyway so uh, but I was very careful I let myself watch, watch one each time I watched it and it took me I know a lot of people binge on them um, at the very beginning I watched two two days in a row I was like whoa I need to stop this because this is taking a lot of my time it's very interesting but it's taking a lot of my time so I backed off and, and made sure but TV's always been a pretty easy one for me um, other ones not so easy like the meditation just getting that one in there every single day I don't know why it's the first thing I should do I wake up put my headphones in meditate I need to do that I'm not doing that um, but that was my that's kind of my one thing I am working on this year every single day without fail I want to meditate 100% so I'm curious, what are you working on? What are you working towards consistently um, every single day? What are you, what are you going to change? If you're not doing something like that now, what do you want to do? What are you going to change and do that? So thanks for coming to today, you guys. If you have questions, let me know below. Um, I love that you guys are here. I'm going to be doing more Ribbit ep Show episodes. I'm going to do one uh, every, almost every Tuesday at noon Pacific. Not every single Tuesday. There are some conflicts that I have, but almost every single Tuesday at noon Pacific. So I hope you join me and I'll see you at the next one. Bye guys.